Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to tackle a topic uh, that I might be tackling in the future again, because I think it's an interesting topic in and of itself, which is um, trying to think about the personality of a personality, of a public personality, or at least someone that uh, a certain number of people know about. So I'm guessing that you guys have heard of Jordan Peterson, uh, at least for uh, many of you. I have always been kind of fascinated by the question of uh, what this guy's type is, you know, um, because it doesn't seem to be a matter of agreements between people. And even with myself, like sometimes I tend to hesitate. Um, I find him an interesting case because he's an interesting person. Um, he is an influential public intellectual now. Uh, whether it's for good reason or bad reason, I guess is, is up for debate. I know that a lot of people hate his guts. Um, I know that a lot of people like him. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I would say that I enjoy his lectures on uh, psychology and mythology. I am a bit tired of his uh, of his more recent interviews and the assertion of of his views regarding gender pronouns. That I I am totally in favor of gender pronouns and and uh, I don't think they're a, a threat for free speech and stuff like that. So let's just you know I look at at, at Jordan Peterson as as an individual who has an interesting personality and let's try to see if we can. Um, if we can come to an agreement as regards his type. The most common type that I see on the internet when people try to type him are INTJ, INFJ, ENTJ, ENFJ, ENTP, and INTP. Okay? So, uh, um, I think it's really interesting because that's a lot of types. That's six types out of 16. So there's like six types out of 16 types that are claiming little Jordan for themselves. So what do I think of this? Well, I think that Jordan Peterson is not a T type. Um, and the reason why I do not think that he is a T type is that I think that he's clearly an FE user. And given that he is, I think, quite clearly an intuitive, um, that would make him an NFJ of some sort. Um, so basically, why do I think he's an FE user? Because I think that you know he's, he's someone who tends to, who seems to constantly be defending positions from his own vision to be of help to people, to help people and maybe to defend people against what he thinks are dangerous um, aspects of postmodernism or whatever. But there is this idea in which like he, there's this idea that he loves to relate to people, is very empathic about people and he is really interested in like how he can help people improve their lives. Um, I think that he's also a very logical person, a very rational person. Um, and I see a lot of, a great deal of TI usage in Peterson, the way that his mind is wired, where he's always, when he makes, when he explains something, he always kind of divides, like he provides formal categories for things and you can see that, like he, I think he he manages to give a picture of his ni. It's quite advanced. Um, it would be a dream for me to manage to do the same thing. Um, I don't think that he get he uses any, although the ENTP suggestion is an interesting one because he's verbally very fluent. A lot of ENTPs are. ENTPs use Effie and Peterson. I think undoubtedly uses FE. And ENTPs are extroverts. And I think, honestly, 
it's hard to defend the idea that Jordan Peterson is an introvert. I really do not buy that. I mean, I, I understand some people think he's an INFJ because at least at least his TI can incredibly be well developed, um, so that he you know he's able to present his NI vision in the way that he is. Um, but the thing is, he's 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 always engaging with people. He's going on this, I don't know if he still is on this tour where he's giving lectures everywhere, talking to everybody. He's constantly doing things with people. He's always in the presence, presence of other people, whether it be business partners or people that he is, you know, talking to, helping. You know, he is just so assertive as well. Like, he says that he doesn't necessarily find conflict easy to handle, and I think that's a sign that he's an F-type. You can see it in his interviews. I mean, he reminds me of my dad a lot, like when he's getting angry progressively, like my dad looks very similar. My dad is an ENFJ, and I do think that Peterson is an ENFJ to give you the uh, my, my, my opinion on his type. I think Jordan Peterson is an ENFJ with a lot of INFJ-ish tendencies. So I would say that in the same way that you have some INFJs that are a bit ENFJ-ish, you know, you obviously have ENFJs that are a little bit an INFJ-ish, and I think that's Peterson for you. I think that his his FE is the dominant function there. Um, but he's also got very well developed NI and very well developed TI. It's the SC that maybe we don't really see as much. Um, so, although the TI of a of a of an ENFJ should not be as as visible as clear as you know as as developed in a way as 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 it is in Jordan Peterson maybe we could sort of suggest that in in the case in the case of someone who has like very very great intelligence in terms of IQ and raw intelligence i don't think it's out of the question for even an ENFJ type to to have a relatively well developed TI um now, I also think that a lot of the time when we see him seemingly using TI, I think what he's using is Ani, assisting Effie. Um, but, again, this is only a hypothesis. There was an ESFJ in my office, a consultant, very smart guy, and uh, he was also using TI better than and more proficiently than you'd assume an, ENF, an ESFJ would. So, again, it's not out of the question. My dad himself, you know, he's, he's not bad at it. Um, but I think that, that Peterson uses FE over TI very clearly and that he's an extrovert um, and that he's an NI user. And he has this vision which probably has resonated with many of you guys, I'm sure, at least at an intellectual level. The way that his mind seems to function is, is very much a, a pattern recognition. You know when he does this? He, he tends to just make hand gestures and he always does like this this thing. To me, it's like, it's NI at work, pattern recognition, you know? Sometimes I do it myself, so. Um, not in the NTP because FE in the, in the NTP is too low. Not in the NTJ because Peterson is not a T dominant. Uh, not an INTJ because Peterson is not an introvert anyway and he's not a, he's an FE user. Not an INTP because his FE is way higher up and his TI is not quite as high up as a, as an INTP would, an INTPs would. Um, INFJ, I just think INFJs would burn out much quicker than, you know, than he. Well, he hasn't burnt out yet. Sometimes he does look like he's very stressed out these days. But um, I think that an INFJ, unless he's an INFJ of a new kind, just needs way more long alone time than than he than he does. And when people use his to to prove Jordan Peterson's genius, they say that he love he he's like addicted to planning weeks ahead, months ahead, like all the slots in his in his schedule that it reassures him that he does that weeks and months ahead. I agree that's that's a sign of genius, but it's also a sign of dominant judger, dominant extroverted judger. Actually, it's a sign of uh, TE or FE. An INFJ is dominant intuitive, likes to be prepared, likes to plan things, but not, not have like 
every slot in your schedule already filled for the coming months. And the, the few ENFJs I know, they do that systematically. INFJs, they're, they're perceiver dominant. Like, it, they, they would hate that in a way. You know, they, they cannot deal with that. They need to have a sense of freedom for NI to roam. You know, so it's not exactly the same level of, of planning. Uh, so if anything, I think that Jefferson's tendency to do that is a sign that he's an extroverted judger. Um, and given how emotional he is, and given how he relates to people and relates to his work through people, people are integral to the way that he explains things and the way he makes sense of things. I think he's an FE user. But um, that was my opinion on Peterson. Let me know whether you think he's an ENFJ, INFJ, INTJ, ENTJ, INTP, or ENTP, or yet some other type. I mean, I've even heard people suggest that he was a censor, so you never know. All right, see you guys. Talk to you soon.